YouTube, Nick from Chi Town Shoes here, back with another sneaker review. So, wearing the Kobe jersey. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can probably tell what these shoes are already. Nike ID, silver Nike swoosh, and back here we got like different descriptions of stuff like where it was made and like the swoosh and stuff like that. So yeah. Cool. Wow. I think these are already my favorite shoe in my collection. But first, before we look into the shoe, let's just look at the card. So. Already, you see the gold Kobe symbol right there, and you see um, all the numbers and dates and everything like that. So, then if you flip the card around, you can see in there you got uh, the date he played, 11, like his first game, 11 96 so November 1st, 1996, 24, which was his number, 20 years in Los Angeles, 81 points in one game, which they managed to come back and win. Five championship rings, 18 all-star appearances in 20 seasons, which is really good. Four MVPs in the all-star game. And his last game, April 13th, 2016. And it says, as the stats mounted up, so did the love and the hate. Love the truth because the numbers don't lie. So that's kind of... Uh, how Kobe rolled, because, I don't know, he wasn't a very, I mean, people like Kobe, but he was really, like, disrespectful towards other people, because he was so competitive, and he just had that, that mentality, that, that killer instinct, which is why he's nicknamed the Black Mamba. So, just getting into the shoe to start off, gold uh, Kobe logo up there, right on the front, and also on the back. We got a uh, nice spotted silver and black laces with silver lace tips. We got the gold Nike swoosh on both sides. And then this is also leather, so that's nice. It's not like great leather, but it is leather. And this also has kind of leather on it. I mean, it's not great either, but that is leather. And then throughout the whole shoe, Obviously, just like on the card, it's just pretty similar print, so this is black, this is gold. It has like all those numbers that I just read spaced out throughout the whole thing. The main one on there is the 24. I mean, and then they're all just all over the place. Another shoe also has the 24 right there on the tongue. So I'm guessing all of them have that. Uh, on the inside of the tongue, I do have the day of his last game, 4, 13, 16. And then the other shoe has 11, 1, uh, 96, which is the date of his first game. Uh, we got the icy blue sole here, the ribbed uh, lining on the side, also ribbed lining right here on the side. And then in here, you got all these little dots, with don't know if they're coordinates of like Staples Center or what they are. Then the other side, somewhere there's a Kobe symbol, there it is. Kobe symbol right there. Hard to notice, but it is there. Inside we got the Nike ID because these are, even though these weren't limited shoes, they are still Nike IDs. But Nike had to just make as they went through. And this bottom on these shoes and the Kobe 11s in general is so nice with all this zoom technology throughout that whole thing. I love that. Then we got the little Kobe symbol right there. Uh, I did get second best zoom because I don't know if I want to wear these a lot. So I don't know if it was worth 25 bucks extra just to get the best zoom. So yeah, uh, kind of the last thing here, we just had the protectant layer all the way around right there 
Which, this is more than most shoes would have. Most shoes don't have it going into the back plate. But these did, so that's another nice extra feature. But, uh, yeah, so these are probably my favorite shoes in my collection right now. Uh, I do have some other ones that I like, but I love these. So, uh, yeah. But I do have this Wednesday. Ooh. You guys aren't going to be ready for it. But I'm not going to get a video out for Monday or Tuesday because, uh, like, not this Monday or Tuesday, but the one after. About those shoes, because I'm going to be in Montana, so I can't, yeah, obviously I'm not going to be here with the shoes. They're going to come when I'm in Montana, so I can't really review them. And then I also want to give you guys a sneaker closet review, breaking all my shoes from like 1 to 20. I think I have 20 pairs, somewhere around there. I'll just throw all my shoes in there so you guys can see like the worst ones. So the best ones. Right now these are one, but they might get, they will, they will be replaced by the ones that I get on Wednesday. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'm out.